just uh, sedikit just intro uh, actually I start my after that uh, got uh, SMAS SMAS is the very important structure lah because all the tech kita aim to um, enter the SMAS and then uh, below SMAS I can have a uh, retaining requirements and also periodicity lah the good this is the uh, category picture uh, showing uh, the, all the uh, anatomy structure that I mentioned before. Okay. Uh, so this slide show um, your skin and uh, aging face near internal structure. So as we can see, uh, as we age, the subcutaneous tissue will uh, reduce and also will become um, uh, move to to towards gravity side uh, because of the gravity effect so the semua akan uh, set down okay uh, this is the uh, subcutaneous fat tissue of the face so uh, the good to know all the compartment uh, fat compartment because uh, if we know the all the uh, the exact compartment so we know which one kita aim to lift it, lift the the problem uh. So this one, uh, uh, the deep cheek compartment. So deep cheek compartment selalunya, uh, as we age, they memang reduce in volume. But because of the uh, deep compartment anchored to the bone atau component ferrosteum, so they tak move, they tak set. So basically, yang set just uh, superficial uh, fat compartment. Okay, uh, for thread lift, actually the aim is uh, we want to create adequate suspension uh, of the superficial soft tissue. Okay. Um, uh, as I mentioned before, this one show just uh, the edge skin, uh, the insert thread is this area. So usually the area, the skin thickness, like uh, one, one millimeter, like that, the uh, skin thickness. So this one show. Um, the underneath structure yang kita, uh, we try to uh, avoid to inject any of this structure if we insert thread too deep then we uh, have the risk to inject all this structure include parotid gland and other uh, glands and then the more important structure the parotid duct if we inject parotid duct we will have a uh, complication like uh, mucosal and then saliva uh, accumulate at the subcutaneous uh, area so, uh, other than uh, duct and uh, uh, gland, the more important structure we try not to touch actually the vessels. Uh, the vessel is situated more deeper structure, so usually we will not inject any vessel. But if you inject any vessel, then just no harm. Just it's, it's not like much like, um, uh, filler when we inject into the, the vessel, then the risk is very much. Like, Trouble some boleh jadi uh, blindness semua tu. Tapi kalau track, we inject just bleeding, just be bleeding. The how to manage bleeding? Just compress, compress until few minutes up to some say up to five minutes. Just compress if we uh, inject the artery. But usually, uh, if we follow the safety line, we difficult to inject any artery. So this one, uh, this study show. Uh, ideal, which patient is the ideal uh, patient for thread lift lah. Okay, and then uh, this study show usually uh, people will I think more than fifty percent will will satisfy with uh, happy lift thread, and then the complication is also just very mild, and patient will uh, can accept the complication. Okay, so next we focus on happy lift. Okay, as I mentioned, first we need to know the insertion plan. Uh, insertion plane actually in the insertion plane is at the uh, uh, layer of the superficial subcutaneous fat just above the smudge so we, we aim to anchor at the smudge we aim the, the bar to anchor at the smudge layer so we try to this is the skin so we we will insert our track here at the layers number two but we try to uh, in the bar we anchor to the smash. The number three is smash. Okay. This one just show, like, uh, like the three, like pokok. So, 
kita punya structure on the face like pokok lah so dia macam deeper structure dia macam akar pokok so dia memang anchored very very macam uh, strong to the periosteum so the, tapi dekat hujung-hujung ranting pokok tu it can move so, so that's why kita nak uh, put something that uh, can macam prevent daripada that structure to move lah so we will uh, insert macam something like here to make sure that uh, all the ranting-ranting cannot move so we want to uh, lift the skin so kita target dekat this uh, area just uh, above smas ok this one so same we target at the smas area ok uh, actually we need to know that uh, just basic anatomy which area we want to focus and then uh, aging process so that we can heal uh, our and uh, plan our treatment lah. so this face uh, this picture show which one is the best candidate actually the first two is hypo hypotropic and trophic problem but more suitable for uh, filler to volumize this the face tapi kalau at uh, 3 and 4 tu dia hyper, hypertrophic and trophic bila dia hypertrophic dia insert uh, filler dia akan akan more swollen so tak sesuai lebih sesuai untuk buat um, uh, thread lift so hypertrophic and trophic memang thread lift there are a few few type of thread uh, different manufacturer will, will uh, create their, their own way of uh, thread their method so uh, we have uh, bi-directional convergent and then bi-directional divergent uh, I mean the the um, cock punya, punya shape lah so which, which area is the cock uh, uh, so hypolite is actually bi-directional convergent so at all the the soft tissue we will we aim to accumulate in the center so we akan tolak semua semua soft tissue dekat center of the thread ok, I'll show like here then the, all the subcutaneous will accumulate at the center of the thread ok, as compared to macam just one direction uh, thread the thread can easily move if uh, because just one direction in a uh, cock lah. so to, to ensure that the even though happy lift dah memang bidirectional uh, convergent memang memang dah cannot move so we still can uh, enhance the punya uh, uh, anchoring by, use, by using uh, J stitch so we we put uh, J stitch so to make sure that the more strong strong anchoring lah. So J stitch usually uh, we apply to the J method. So this one is J stitch lah. All the soft tissue we aim to accumulate here in the center of the thread. So and then here we put more uh, anchoring. We put uh, J stitch. So okay, uh, what is the ideal candidate? Let's just uh, as I mentioned uh, first we need to assess the face. We aim to do on. Uh, hypertrophic and trotic actually hypertrophic still can do but the uh, filler more benefit to them so the age is between 30 to uh, 60 years old we can still do above 60 but the uh, result maybe selalunya tak cukup need combination threading and filler lah kalau above 60 so this one the uh, contraindication I think all uh, contraindication is actually just the same to all any other uh, aesthetic procedure lah. so uh, patient on just just uh, be careful here just not to touch any any non absorbable filler macam permanent filler silicone like that the, uh, is more dangerous to touch that lah, because their uh, anatomy is already done distorted because of the permanent things there so this one, the relative contraindication depends on you which you want to proceed with any patient with acne still can do but just avoid the uh, macam infection uh, nampak acne to nampak infection, infection so just to avoid them okay then next kita uh, do in clean procedure 
actually the most appropriate is actually extra extra area lah. Tapi we need we actually we don't have very extra macam OT kan. So just just make sure it is clean uh, enough already. So next uh, the post post operative care post post procedure care. Uh, all the post procedure care you can uh, just uh, for me I just give patient this card lah. So dia akan boleh baca dekat rumah dia on the the uh, post operative care. Okay. Next, we focus on happy lift technique. Before 12 cm happy lift, we have a few methods of insertion. So we can divide into two actually. The blue color one, the above one is actually the vertical reshaping. Re means uh, we want to end the lifting from vertically so any any macam dah sagging so kita nak tolak dengan atas vertical reshaping but for the next two is uh, lateral reshaping means the, macam ada uh, let's say macam ada any macam spiling line yang deep very deep spiling line we aim to macam tolak the, the all the uh, fat to the lateral sides usually the below two ni memang sesuai untuk macam uh, European punya face but dia ada very high cheekbone so kita nak tolak dia punya tu supaya dia uh, correct dia punya deep uh, ni lah smiley line tapi usually Asian memang Malaysian pun memang selalunya kita akan buat both dua ni lah sebab selalunya ramai akan datang nak uh, V-shape V-shape something kan so V-shape J jaw, jaw line V-shape pun just aim to macam enhance jaw line Tapi kalau ORB, kita enhance joint and then lift, lifting the skin also So first, just uh, Kita start dengan uh, jawline reshaping technique lah, JR Macam okay. mentioned tadi, JR just to enhance the jawline So first, uh, we need to identify the safety line First safety line is Dekat uh, Between the lateral canthus to the tragus So this one is first safety line This safety line is very important because usually uh, For basic arcalate we not to insert any thread above the safety line Because they are the large vessel here lah. That, okay, Next, uh, um, uh, mark the second safety line Second safety line is at the middle canthus to the uh, just lateral to uh, angle of the mouth because uh, medially uh, ada few vessel yang about uh, macam a bit a bit uh, superficial okay so next kita uh, mark the insertion point entry point this one for JR the insertion is at the uh, at here at the mandibular angle so this right, I ended it mark for uh, insertion point here And then next, we mark the exit number 1 Exit number 1 for JR Just one or just 2 cm uh, in front um, Triggers Either nak letak dekat on the safety line itself or okay Just below the safety line for okay Okay next uh, Mark Sorry, tadi just now the um, intermediate point lah, the intermediate point. So now the exit number one. Exit number one is okay. Let's see the uh, uh, yeah, uh, mark exit number one. Exit number one actually we assess the patient which which area is more macam set. We can just put uh, the effects of the macam jowling into so so exit at that area or oh, kalau memang uh, the suggested landmark dia actually just uh, medial to the marionette sorry just lateral to my marionette line so we we'll just exit here lah next we mark the exit number 2 exit number 2 just two at the same plane just uh, 2 cm below the intermediate point 
So first we insert our track to either we want to insert to aim uh, as number one first or intermediate. Also uh, depends on you. Also, you can do at either. Okay. So we so this is the the shape of the track lah. J R. We insert here at insertion point. Then exit exit number one. Exit number one just lateral to the marionette line, not to cross the marionette line because kalau kita cross the marionette line, akan worsen the marionette line. Okay, next uh, Another end of the track, because double leader kan So, another end of the track, we aim to the intermediate point And then, we insert to, to, to the intermediate point to make the J stitch So, uh, JR usually will macam enhance this area, the jaw area And then, akan ada lifting effect sikit dekat this area So, dia akan nampak more prominent uh, angle of mandible Next technique is ORB technique Okay, uh, it's the same, just mark the first uh, safety line and second safety line And then the entry point of uh, ORB Actually, here, just um, 2cm uh, in front of the draggers <coughs> Actually, just uh, same with uh, Oh, uh, JR technique punya intermediate point Just the same area Okay, next kita uh, mark the intermediate point Intermediate point for ORB About 2 cm in front the uh, insertion point And then, exit number 1 At the center of the in between uh, angle of, of um, mandible And also the uh, maronic line so, exit number 2, just lateral to the angle of mouth So, the shape is like U-shape Macam ni lah So The method being insert uh, one end of the thread to the insertion uh, entry point And then exit to exit number 1 Then another end, we insert to the uh, To the intermediate point and then exit number 2 So, the shape of the thread is uh, is like you shape lah. So we will aim to lift up all the structure here. So they can benefit first marinade line and then joining here. Another one, uh, smiling line pun akan improve juga. That's why this one, this method actually memang kalau Asian punya problem memang this method is very macam paling banyak yang guna lah. Even di sini pun memang kita pakai warabi. I think eighty uh, percent patient memang kita pakai warabi. Kita sebab selalunya Malaysia dia nak V shape so and then dia akan ada macam problem sikit Deep smiley line and So we, we do ORP to uh, enhance the result Okay, another method kita ada MR technique So MR The insertion point, entry point Same with ORP, just uh, 1 cm uh, in front of the triggers and then exit number one just uh, uh, lateral to uh, our nose too but not not to cross the uh, safety safety line lah. then exit number two just lateral to angle of the mouth this one aim to uh, uh, improve the smiling line to, to pull all the, the structure to the lateral side Another method, we have uh, LR Lateral reshaping So, lateral reshaping The entry point Is at the uh, Same with uh, the, the, Sorry, same with ORP and uh, MR, just 2cm in front of the triggers and then intermediate point is actually the angle of maneuver dia terbalik dengan JR tadi JR kita insert from here and then exit dekat sini tapi this one dia terbalik insert here, exit sini and then exit number 1 dekat uh, just lateral to maronate line exit number 2 just lateral to kita tengok which area kalau dia very very 
smiley line this one we can adjust if you put pressure punya smiley line lah either we want to put uh, slightly uh, upper side or ataupun the below here depends on patient punya smiley uh, pulling lah to the lateral side but usually because this one kalau kita guna just 12 cm selalu ni dia tak cukup lah sebab cork tu maybe end dekat sini dia punya cork tu akan just end dekat sini so this one macam memang tak ada cork so tak ada pulling lah so usually this method kita use 23 cm better result so uh, just recap this one JR basic for 12 cm this one uh, ORB and then uh, MR and LR so ni LR kalau very macam small face maybe cukup lah to buat uh, just use 12 cm tapi usually patient dia face dia macam large uh, face akan selalu tak cukup uh, 23 uh, 12 cm we need to use 23 cm ok that's fine tadi semua method to 12 cm lah next module uh, we uh, we we'll focus on uh, 23 cm punya track so just uh, sedikit intro lah untuk 23 cm, 26 cm dia lagi longer lah dan macam double daripada 12 cm okay. so we have uh, advanced JR tadi JR kalau uh, you remember shape JR tadi dia punya intermediate uh, point just dekat safety line tapi this one macam advanced method we can still uh, macam langgar dia punya safety line lah tapi remember here ada large vessel so here just we actually we just put superficial the problem kalau kita put superficial um, dia selalunya akan ada dimpling boleh nampak tapi because of the hair semua akan boleh cover the area lah so here we will put very superficial plus tu uh, another method boleh buat JR dekat sini tapi usually tak perlu pun tak apalah dia just sebab kita dah cukup untuk uh, J stage ni kita just buat atas pun dah cukup Next, okay. This one tadi ni, this one uh, JR basic. Tapi ni yang yang advanced JR, jadi dia macam uh, more uh, longer track, so we can put uh, the intermediate point uh, lagi tinggi. So MR pun boleh guna 23 cm, tapi usually MR 12 cm pun dah enough. Tapi kalau dia memang macam very large face, and then memang fat memang banyak, then we can still use 23 cm so LR memang uh, recommended to use 23 cm lah so next uh, dimpling dimpling actually kalau first uh, kalau siapa buat any track pun dimpling tu memang very common lah so macam first masa consultation memang kena inform patients usually kat sini kita terus inform patients dimpling is very common kalau tak ada dimpling memang memang very lucky lah memang kalau I think macam 20-30% dia memang without any dimpling so dimpling kalau ada pun usually macam 50% dalam one, one week, two weeks macam tu so then dia akan settle down because of gravity effect pun akan tolong untuk settlekan dimpling some will macam suka terus hilangkan dimpling tu actually kalau kita terus hilangkan semua dimpling dia result akan hilang juga lah sebab dia tak ada pulling dia punya tu so we try to avoid dimpling dengan few method lah first dimpling dekat um, entry point entry point usually dimpling because of first sebelum kita introduce track kita akan introduce uh, needle 18, 18 gauge needle untuk buat lubang so kalau lubang tu dia tak sama dengan tempat kita masuk tu dia akan treat dimpling so kita need to avoid that lah so just make sure that the 18 gauge punya uh, needle, punya lubang kita insert at the same lubang same pole kalau kita insert just sebelah ataupun macam ter cross daripada dia punya hole memang akan confirm memang akan ada dipilih so, okay. so another method um, tadi kalau uh, selain pada dekat entry point dekat intermediate point yang keluar tu pun boleh ada risk untuk dimpling so the best way kita support dengan needle cap so that macam dia keluar memang memang straight lah dia tak macam sengit kat tu so akan prevent dimpling 
Lepas tu kalau for insertion entry point Try to macam just stretch a bit so we can see the hole Tapi not to over stretch, kalau kita over stretch the The hole dekat dalam maybe lain daripada yang dekat luar So kita over stretch je jangan macam ter, tertarik dekat hole So bila kita masuk needle, still akan not the same direction So akan create dimpling juga Next, uh, how to avoid dimpling atau dekat uh, all all the way dekat track tu punya cop so uh, macam kita dah mention a uh, few times tadi memang kita aim target dekat uh, layer yang uh, su superficial subcutaneous dekat just above the smas kalau kita put the needle very macam superficial memang akan ada macam tertarik-tarik sikit memang akan ada banyak dimpling dekat the area lah so uh, this one macam need macam some experience to tengok which layer kita nak target tu lah kalau dia punya trick actually kalau kita masukkan thread tu nampak skin tu superficial skin tertarik sekali actually dia very superficial so usually kalau kita masuk thread tu skin atas tu dia memang tak tak, tak terikut so dia memang memang dia dekorat uh, kalau dapat dekorat plane tu dia memang skin atas tu memang dia tak terikut kalau dia tertarik sikit memang very superficial so kalau superficial dia tarik balik tu dia masuk ke dalam sikit Actually still okay kalau uh, uh, we treat macam dimpling so we because we insert the, uh, the track uh, so superficial compared to dengan kita insert too deep lagi lagi banyak structure yang boleh injet lah The next is uh, dimpling dekat exit point selalunya dimpling dekat exit point because of macam cock of the track tu dia tersangkut dekat exit point tu just the method just simple just push down the the skin so that they can release but uh, very important very important to know every phase the the actually different lah so the all the method kita just bagi rough idea the technique use tapi kita still boleh macam adjust sama ada nak naik sikit atau bawah sikit it depends on patient punya, punya uh, problem So kalau macam tadi yang dekat jawling tu selalunya kita pakai dekat apex dekat kan tengah of the jawling so dia akan tarik lagi lagi nice lah. Okay, that's all. Okay. Let's think that hands on. First function dia memang untuk nak bagi dam lah So second hmm. kita masuk lagi ni untuk stop the bleeding Number 3 actually dia bantu untuk dia enhance Dia besarkan area yang kita masuk track tu So dia stretch tu So nanti track ni yang diselang jalan lah So dia masuk Nanti cuba nak pergi tu dia punya Jadi kita ada di sini. Jadi kita ada di sini. Jadi
Terus ini masuknya entry in ke Incentive sih ya Jom nak cek dia punya layer tu Just jongkit ke sikit supaya tengok Kalau kita ambil macam tu, kita cari supaya dia sama ni mm -hmm. So kalau dah sama tu, otomatik dia ada kat situ Okay So, proceed dengan Bismillah, nanti dah boleh potong Potong? Potong Okay So, first macam aim same direction tu, pasal baru kita buka okay. lah Dia nak nampak lagi video live lagi senang Ni Kita masuk Kita masuk bawah je lah Kita stop Tekan stop the video Jadi boleh macam enlargekan dia punya ni dia tapi dah keluar Oh <laughs> yang so, tu Tapi boleh je kalau nak masuk Tapi uh, kalau dah keluar dia tak, tak oh, dia susah nak je lah So hmm. kita masuk dia kat so, sini So dia punya direction pun aim macam direction yang dia keluar tadi okay. Just masuk Okay. 
Bila semua dah masuk kan The method kita uh, Pandang Sri Kita nak macam Make sure uh, Oil macam Dia bab tu um, Masuk So kita Cara dia Just Pegang dua ni Lepas tu just Macam Just pegang dua ni Just Massage dia ke atas Lepas Just gentle ni dah ok Kita dah pegang ni Kita dah cuci ni Kita tu lah Selama ni before cut tu boleh Nak suruh bangun ni dulu Untuk nak tengok macam hmm. simetri ke tak apa ni Ini ada di tingkat exit point ni Potong sikit Kasi ya? Kasi bikin Tak ada apa-apa Jomlah kita di katil tu eh Jom pakai katil Oh, tapi macam ni kan? Sama Tapi macam ni Macam ni Hadi yang bersedia punya Tak pakai pun Oh, kita ada yang rolik Tak pakai pun Tak guna? Oh, iya Lupa nak pasti Sisi Sebab ni dia lebih besar dia Kati skin tu Banyak lah So beli dia banyak lah Ini pun dah letak Dia ni Banyak lah Ini dia Satu ni Asyik tak ingat ni Dia pun dah selayang lah Dia pun saya Bagi macam ni Tak kan Tak ada Walaupun Dia ni kata saya ni Tak selalu stop semua Supplement One week before One week before Roti ni Experience hmm? Haa Macam Any supplement lah Macam Sometimes orang cakap Macam gelutan sayang Tak Kami Tak ada ni. buat bleeding Tapi memang Selalunya One week before Just suruh stop ni Hmm Sebab vitamin C Memang bleeding lah Vitamin C Tapi gelutan sayang Should be okay Tapi Better Stop, stop. Hmm. Tu so, kalau patient on aspirin uh, Bukan aspirin Warfarin Absolute contraindication Tak boleh lah Selalu Kan dah stop kan So aspirin tak boleh buat track lah Eh orang warfarin tak boleh buat track lah Dia Dia tak boleh 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 Dia t
Selalu iPhone je ke? Yeah. iPhone je lah Selalu orang on Macam long term medicine macam tu Suruh buat kat hospital Dia Pas jumpa jalan tidur lah Haa Itu pun tak ada sikit Dia boleh Kat sini dia tertarik Tertarik Apa? Uh, Rambut Rambut Pakai Ni dia dulu Ni dia Ya sedili masuk bawah. Macam hmm. bawah bawah. Hmm. Ini dah macam tu. Lupa nak tengok. Hari. Ini pun terus. Terus. Ni tarik macam kalau macam ni Sebab dia ada banyak angle ni Tarik step by step lah Daripada double chin tolak ke sini dulu Macam tu tolak sini Masuk pegang sini tarik sini Dah pegang sini macam ni Pegang sini Macam tolak sikit satu-satu kalau nak buat semua nak buat saya ni buat ni atas ni cantik ni dia buat apa dia pakai sasi dia buat sasi ni macam biasa ni yang cantik ni dia tak buat sasi dia buat sasi dia buat macam kita tarik dulu Kita boleh seimbangkan So dia akan ada dua dimpling kan Sebab kita ada dua entry kan ah. okay. So kat kiri kan Daripada bawah tu tolak dulu kan Double chin naik atas <laughs> Tapi kalau kau ikutnya, nampak tak? Kita tarik ni, kalau kita macam kau kata, kita tarik Ini albak dia terlebih Kenapa? Albak ni ada terlebih Haa, tak apa Maksudnya kalau next time, kalau kita cross keluar kat sini Boleh juga cross, kan? Kita tak payah buat dengan-dengan 12 Kita buat cross keluar kat sini Boleh juga Sebab kita tengok kalau aku ni pun Tak ada sebenarnya kalau dia macam ni lagi cantik juga Sebab dia Macam dia dimpling kat sini kan, dia double chin tu akan lagi hilang Dia akan tekan lagi Tekan sikit lagi Tadi tu dah tekan cantik Sikit Sampai hati kita dah Bila 
Sudah kau lama. Sudah kau lama. Sudah kau lama. Sudah kau Okay, muda. Ten years younger. Oh, that's a J lah, J kan? Here, turn it, turn it, turn it. Oh. Lucky sahaja.